Today, we've got some exciting news for all the Android fans out there. Android 15 is making waves, and one of the latest leaks reveals a cool new feature that's going to change how we interact with our apps, especially in the status bar on the always-on display. So let's dive right into it. For years, Android has used the status bar to show us new notifications with app icons. But have you noticed how the icons are always displayed in subdued or muted colors? It's been this way for a long time. Well, that's about to change. With Android 15, Google is making it possible for those icons to appear in full color. According to a report from Android Authority, the source code of Android 15 now includes two new options or flags for app icons. These options will determine how the app icons are displayed in the status bar. So what are these two new flags all about? First, Android 15 will give you the option to see the full color app icons in the status bar. This means the icons that usually show up when you get a notification will now look exactly like they do in the Google Play Store, your home screen, or the app drawer. For example, instead of a generic toned down version of your favorite messaging app's icon, you'll see its full color version. This change is significant because it'll make it much easier to recognize apps at a glance. Think about it. If you're used to seeing the full color icon on your home screen, having the same vibrant icon in the status bar will give you instant recognition. No more squinting at the tiny bland icons to figure out where the notification came from. The second option involves monochrome icons. These are simplified one color versions of the app icons. The idea is that monochrome icons would offer a cleaner, more uniform look. If you're using adaptive icons, which are designed to be flexible depending on the theme or background, this could help your entire phone's interface look more consistent. However, as of now, monochrome icons seem to have some issues with contrast. This makes it a little harder to see certain icons clearly, but don't worry, Google is working on it. Once they fix those contrast issues, monochrome icons might become a popular choice for users to prefer a minimalistic and uniform design. Now, this feature doesn't stop at the status bar. Android 15 could also apply these changes to app icons on the always-on display AOD. This means your phone's or tablet's AOD might display icons in full color, monochrome, or their default subdued versions, depending on your preference. If you're not familiar with AOD, it's a feature that keeps certain parts of your display on even when the device is technically asleep. This allows you to glance at the time, notifications, and other important info without having to fully wake your phone. Adding full color app icons to the AOD will not only look cool, but also be super useful when you want to quickly check which app is trying to grab your attention. Imagine glancing at your phone on the desk and instantly knowing if it's a message from WhatsApp, an email, or a social media notification, all thanks to the color. So will this new feature come to your device if you're using Samsung? Hopefully yes. If Google pushes forward with a full color and monochrome icons in Android 15, there's a good chance Samsung will bring it to its next big software update, One UI 7.0. Samsung is known for implementing Android features while adding its own twist to make them even better. We're really excited to see how this new app icon feature will look on Samsung devices, especially with their vibrant displays. If Google goes ahead with this feature in Android 15, it's likely that we'll see options in the settings to toggle between default, full color, or monochrome icons. And for Android 15, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any updates. See you in the next video. Hey, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, 
The Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilead smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices launched leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone, expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6 overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.